to me like, how did it feel to come back home? It felt great. It felt great. Um, family, friends were in, uh, in the stands. Uh, it felt great to get the win, especially uh, the way they were talking. Yeah, especially uh, all those fans that were cheering uh, when you're going in and out of the tunnel. It sounded like they were really good friends right there. <laughs> yeah, no, a couple guys from back in high school uh, were at the game uh, who go to USF. Uh, they had USF gear on, which I wasn't too, too happy about. But uh, no, it was great to come home and get the win. Just happy to go home now. Uh, we talked earlier in the week just about the, the overall improvement of the defense. And yeah. How does it feel to finish the season like this? You know, really four, four really good games after that Wake Forest game. Yeah, no, we've been coming along. We've been coming along. I think, uh, like we've been preaching all, like, like I said, uh, forcing them the third downs and they get on the field. And uh, we did a great job containing the quarterback, uh, BJ Daniels. And, uh, got off the field in third down uh, situations. Uh, Brandon Harris was able to get the pick on the one play. Uh, we were able to get some sacks, get pressures, and uh, our goal all week was to contain him. We did that. How much better does this team feel about itself right now than maybe it did a couple weeks ago? Uh, I think we, we're, still, we're still real confident. I think we're still real confident. Uh, not a whole lot's changed. Uh, I think all week, uh, leading up to games, we had the same mentality, go up wherever we go and get the win. Uh, it was no different from coming here. Uh, I think they tried to make it a big deal with the in-state rivalry with USF. And uh, I think we made a statement tonight, and we will make another statement in the bowl game and then carry on to the next season. Is this the most complete defensive game you guys have played? I think so. I think so. I think uh, even uh, <clears throat> when they scored, I'm trying to think exactly how they scored. Long scramble, find the guy in the back of the end zone. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I remember now. But I think we had a penalty right there on the on second down, I think, to give them an extra three downs. Uh, we held them again. I think that just shows as far as our defense, like I said, the maturity of it with being able to respond back. Uh, obviously, they would make a big play for themselves, but uh, we take that upon our defense to be able to stop and force them field goals. Samak, what exactly was the game plan to stop B.J. Daniels? I mean, everybody knows that he likes to scramble. They nicknamed him Techno Ball because he takes about a 50-foot drop and then throws the ball. Yeah, no, he, he took some deep drops and we will get some big sacks. I think that was uh, kind of, I guess, give or take for him as far as running around back there. But we were able to get sacks on him, able to get pressure. Uh, he's a good athlete. We'll give him that. But, uh, I mean, we got plenty of athletes here at Miami on defense. Uh, and we were ready for the challenge, and we, we answered. Can't wait to see him next year down there in Gable. Oh, yeah, we'll be ready for him. We got we still got the bowl game, but, yeah, we'll <laughs> take care of him next year, too. All right. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you.